Chocolate's all science. I mean, there's a tons of science. And when you actually see the people that are really making the chocolate in the world, they look nothing like Willy Wonka or uh, Chocolat, the movie with Johnny Depp. And, and it looks nothing like this. These are guys in lab coats. This company was founded about two years ago uh, by a gentleman named Daniel Preston. He is the CEO of the company. He's an engineer by trade. He came into this through a reconnection with family roots in the Dominican Republic, through uh, just agriculture, because his family was a large agricultural family. And so from there, he uses engineering backgrounds to start developing machinery. I am a chef by training. I have been in the industry uh, almost two decades now. And for, for me, the interesting aspect is flavor. And flavor, in the case of chocolate, is a byproduct not only of the base product, what is the cacao, what is the cocoa that you're sourcing, of course, but how you treat it. So if you think of, think of the process of making a chocolate is like, it's like music. Huh? There's movements. And you've got your piano, for instance, and each key represents a different stage in the process. Every stage is the most important stage. Every stage is like a different key. So every machine has its place. But how you tweak and how you stroke and how you strike that key, like how you use that machine, creates a different nuance. So you have got a very multi-stage, pretty much industrial product that as you tweak and nuance, creates different flavor profiles. And for me, that's a very interesting thing. I mean, knowledge is power of everything, right? So when you know something, it isn't just about how it tastes on the tongue, even though that's a very big um, definer and it provides tremendous direction, it's about the technical understanding to back up the sensory perception. I guess the best thing I could say is, you know, look for natural products, look for high-end products. You don't have to just eat M&Ms, and M&Ms are good, but, you know, there's a lot of very good quality work out there, and I hope that Americans appreciate and learn to appreciate, and they, they evolve with what's out there. It isn't just what's cheap. It's even the expensive stuff and, and whatnot. It's, there's flavor in a lot of things, so hopefully Americans will learn to appreciate more.